or your single parent family. Feel free to open your chatting. This was about drugs and violence before the day that I started second of it. That's part of it, not half of it. Get the picture, the rest ain't necessary. Growing up got a little caught up. And that ain't even half of my life. I was also given the knowledge of self that is all we actually need to survive. If you saw me, age nine, reading Malcolm, just fine. Teachers still cheating me, stupid students that couldn't speak English to put me in coops with. And the irony is, some of the first men to give me schooling, you were called gangsters. I already explained what you know, but the truth is they used to say, don't be like me. Yeah, I got a name and don't on the street, nighttime comes, I can't sleep. That's the part fake rappers don't speak. We don't hit the road because we're tucked. Don't come out the room when it's all drops. If we got the right guidance and love, would we fight people just like us? How can not the hustle to get by? How do you think I ate as a child? Judge no one, done many things wrong. Just don't boast about it in songs, but listen to my older bars. I was just as confused as you probably are when you grow when you learn. Travel, cut, one too many men, you know, get cut. One too many men that could have been doctors end up spending the whole life boxed up. You learn, if you study, it's all set out just to make them money. No cover. It's all about getting poor people to fight with one another, so it's logical that us killing our brothers, this and our brothers, this right in line with the philosophy of our time. But time is a cycle, not a line. Coming back around, you regain your mind, you're ready for the energy. I tell you my rhyme, remedy the pinnacle, you're jumping in your mind when the world is. Leverage is a crime. And we can all fight with our brothers over crumbs. Harder to fight the one who makes guns. We can all talk shit and get two dollars. Harder to be the one who seeks knowledge. If we understood economics, we know money's nothing. Think nothing of it. Money is a means to get wealth. Not the wealth itself and don't get confused far from Bro, all do you see me do? I own what I won't hang what I make around my neck I know from where the diamonds came But I do literally own a library that definitely costs more than your chain And businesses, and property, far from starving And I eat crap properly and I don't care I just said it for the kids You need to know you're not broke to listen We don't know an asset from a liability They've never been shown or told the difference So they don't change situation The richest man is Britain is Asian And that's significant, not coincidence Because when Asian people build their businesses It's not by fussing and going out shopping And giving up the culture for everyone's profit so we shake our ass and dance as if racism just upped and vanished. But has it? No, it's right on course. You've been so bad, you're trained to ignore. Let me not just make sweeping statements. Give me a second, I'll explain. For small amounts of drug possession, there's more black people in jail in America than there is for rape and armed robbery and murder all put together. And you can say they're just locking up tugs. Can't imagine they're in prison in the middle class kid that had ever held drugs. Oh, that's right, that'll be your kid. See, it's bigger than that. What is going on with this prison in America's private business? They get paid 50k per year per inmate by the state. Just wait. Also, legally, are allowed to use their prison inmates as slaves. Cheap slave labor. The big corporations that come out of jail when they can't get a job. So, when we celebrate going to jail, we are literally celebrating enslavement. And to that, that the world that you live in, engineered social condition that breeds crime by design. Where do you think you get your name? And you can say that they're just black, but I like to deal with facts. In the 1920s, you would have found in America. Black towns were prospering centers of economics and education to make you proud. But some people could have been that the former slaves would not just lie down to the KKK and other hate groups. Burn those towns to the ground. Killing hundreds if it ain't understood. You think you were always living in the hood, it's only been 60 years. Since the hung blacks and burn them and that was so cool. They were your baskets, picnic baskets, even gave kids the day off school. Go see a lynching. Have a picnic, it's fun to watch the little monkeys die. The people act a little dysfunctional. And you want to pretend that you don't know why. If your skin means you could be killed and you're powerless to get justice about it. Is it difficult to figure out how you would then end up feeling about it? And I ain't excuses, just dealing with the roots of abuses that make a reality where a generation of young men speak up ourselves as dirt. Casually, that's America. This Britain. Something similar, some different. In this country, the first enslaved were the working class. <coughs> worst jobs, worst conditions, most tax. Look where you're living. You go to the pub on a Friday night, you will fight with a guy, don't know what for, won't fight with a guy in a suit and a tie, you send your kids to die in a war. They don't send the kids to the rich of the politicians, it's your kids. The poor British, they said they're going to die in a foreign land for these wars that you don't understand. And yet they say you are British and that lovely patriotism they feed you. But in reality, you have more in common with immigrants than with your leaders. I know both sides of my family, black and white, I fed your mentality, reality in this system. Poor people are dirt regardless of shame. But with that said, let's not pretend that everything is the same. When our grandparents came here to Britain, if you had a criminal record, you couldn't get it. That ain't protecting from all of the stupid, stupid abuses they were living. Kicked in the teeth, stabbed in the street. Many times fire on our houses, put fishies through our little box, and of course the cops did so much about it. They up to the 80s, people spitting in my prank because I was a king baby. But of course, that's a normal sector why today you're crazy. And none of this was for any good reason. They were just dark and breathing to ease the guilt now for all its treatment, constant stereotypes and needed. So if I celebrate how big my dick is, pricks that I'm flipping, clips that I'm sticking, chicks that I'm hitting, I'll play my position. But if I teach a kid to be a mathematician, messing with the skills I'm handling, gonna fill a prison when materialism is no longer our religion. What do you think we got now in Britain? Just like America, private prison. Prison for profit. So that means when your kids go to jail, people make money off it. 
So keep them virus to pre crime. We all go jail at the same time. Market badness to the kids in the rhymes. Long as rich kids ain't dying, it's fine. Get them to the point where some are so lost that I actually believe if they don't celebrate killing themselves off. It's because they're soft. Was Malcolm soft? Was Marley soft? Tell me, was Marcus Garvey soft? Well, was Muhammad Ali soft? Nah, nah. I think not, but they want us to think that the road is cool. Being on road is all we can do. But we don't control the wholesale production, so who benefits from us moving the food? All thinking there's no way out of road life, but Malcolm X is the hustle on the roadside. Marcus Garvey organized more than 6 million people with no Facebook or Twitter. Why is it something you can't eat? Shit. One of my own homeboys did a 10 straight in the boxing yard. Now what's he doing? Passing his doctorate. Don't tell me that it's too hard. Who changed you to believe you're in fear with your son or ever though in Nigeria? You are the remains of an ancient moat dug 1,000 years ago, 20 meters wide, 70 down. Round the remains of an ancient town that's 400 square miles around. 400 square miles around. Please, please don't believe me. It's a documentary on BBC, but we ain't studying history. Too busy watching MTV. And MTV said, wear platinum. Now everyone wanna go and wear platinum. And MTV said, pop magnums. Now everyone wanna go and pop magnums. And MTV said, drink prune juice. You will start hearing that in tune soon. Hey, today I'm gonna pull my car here. And now it's important what I've got to say. Home when I drive a Mercedes, by the way, so everybody listen to what I've got to say. Hmm, does that make you all happy? Oh, but shit, my head's still nappy. Think for myself, so some mad at me. But on the mic, can't knock one bad at me. All of this here is good for the rhymes. If I say the same place at the same time, and it's clear to everybody I'm out of my mind. Some of these guys are running out of the rhymes. It's clear for everybody. They just got ears. I'm the guy that they just might fear. They don't want to get near, but they can't have a peer or a dear and hard. If you just like being front on the kids for another five years, but come to my shows and some criteria sitting mean that much to them. It's a movement. I don't speak to myself, but a unit. Black, white, man, woman. Anyone who respects truth, we put in these dudes. They like no dinner, we just put it. Yeah, you're sweet, but no substance, put it. You can never ever be with a Lebanon. Our songs get played out in the Lebanon. We speak for the people properly, not for the old fat guys in offices and the kills of them. It ain't fair. You can't even be bothered to comb his hair. Anyway, that's enough kissing my own ass. Back to the more important task of being so shower. The other half, the hood screaming, knowledge is power. And I ain't saying that I'll change that back, but I do know this for a fact. Right now, there's a youth on your block with his hands on his face from up. So he don't care that he don't ever, that he won't let nobody call his block. But the words go in, open your shack of us. Once that's happened, there's no going backwards. You start to see what is really happening. Who the enemy should be attacking is so re, 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 stop on the block, re, re, sitting in the box, re, re, don't let them say what you can achieve. Because when people are enslaved, one of the first things they do is stop them reading. Because it is well understood that intelligent people will take their freedom. Because if we knew our power, we would understand we can't be held down. If we knew our power, we would not elevate not one of these clowns. If we knew our power, we wouldn't get arrogant when we get two pennies. If we knew our power, we would see what everybody sees that we're rich or pain. Whenever my NMCs go wrong for your money, I'm hungry. That's enough. Back to worshiping money.